All right, so now that we have the part split by patch and you can see these different surfaces, we are going to move on to create a continua. In general, for Star CCM, this uh, kind of side menu here, it's called the design tree. In general, when you're creating a, a simulation from scratch, it, it goes in order. So we start with geometry, kind of come through the CAD model and then the parts. Um, we're going to skip over a couple of these things right now and move on to continua. But in general, when in doubt, you should be going in order on this design tree. So the continua is basically where you add a physics, um, basically the physics for your model in to this file. And so we're going to come here and select physics continua. So basically we're going to add the properties of the material, what type of material it is, the properties such as density, um, or uh, thermal conductivity, the thermal expansion coefficient, lots and lots of properties that we can do. We're going to keep it very simple. Um, selecting these physics models is really what gives your, your overall star CCM model its validity. So it's very important to get these models right. And if you want to model reality, then you have to make sure that they're correct with a um, experimental model. But for now, we're just going to keep it simple and select some basic models. So you right click on models, select models, and we're going to start with a, with a three dimensional. And this is going to be liquid because it's water. We're going to stick with segregated flow. Usually that's a little less um, difficult for solvers than coupled flow. And we're going to stick with constant density. You, as you can see, we could do a couple of different things here, even this, um, this advanced equation of state. But we're going to stick with constant density and steady state. Um, in future videos, we'll, we'll talk about unsteady modeling. But for now, we're going to look for a steady state solution. And since this is going to be primarily a natural convection model, we're going to assume it's mostly laminar flow. In reality, these models would need to be confirmed using a um, using an, a physical experiment. But for now, we're going to stick with that. For some optional models, the ones that we're really going to worry about is going to be segregated fluid temperature, so that we can add thermal aspects into our model in a little bit. And then if we go up here and look at a couple of these different guys, I think we don't really care about any of these except for the Bosonesque model. The Bosonesque model is a model that worries about um, changing density only when it's uh, with reference to like buoyancy. And so this is going to allow natural convection to be um, analyzed in our model. So I'm happy with those models, so we're going to close out of that. Now we can go in here and we can see. Um, this is the list of all of our models. And if we, there's this little node that we can expand for liquid. It says that it defaulted to water. And we can see a couple of different properties. So density, dynamic viscosity, specific heat, thermal conductivity, and thermal expansion coefficient. If you open each of these menus, that's how you can edit the value. And you can type any reasonable units and with the value there if you'd like to edit. I'm going to leave it the same there for now. Viscosity, all of these are, are reasonable values for around room temperature for water. Um, and so, yeah, we're going we're gonna to leave those all as they are for now. But if you wanted to edit the properties, that is how you would do so. You can also edit the material um, here. I believe I'll, uh, I don't remember exactly where it's at, but I'll, I'll find that out and I'll put it in the next video. But so that's kind of how you edit the properties and add a physics continua. We're going to change this physics one to be named water again so that we can keep track of what we are assigning. And so that's going to be it for this video.